Welcome, Internet. Hello. <laughs> so I will quickly check if somebody responded anything. Ah, I'm so happy to see you all. And I'm super <laughs> excited. Like, are you also super excited? <laughs> Uh, we've been working so much to come to this day um, to bring us all together and uh, that's so nice so I give as a tiny minute to arrive and uh, join the call for everybody who is viewing at the moment uh, in the internet on YouTube um, we are um, having a Zoom room for the participants and the team of the uh, Critical Making Mentoring. So that's why we're waiting a tiny minute um, for everybody to join. So. And as it's good practice, I close different uh, kinds of messengers that could disturb us here. <laughs> so I see quite a few participants now. That's wonderful. And Hannah, I will make you co-host. Uh... Oh, no, I can't make you co-host. I will ask a gig to make you co-host. Just in case. Yeah, so now I think it's uh, almost five past, three past on my clock, <laughs> which is, you're all here, which is amazing. Um, I will just kick off, I would say, uh, so we don't waste any time. And whoever came late uh, can also join um, the first part of the event through um, the live stream and the recording later. So welcome, everybody. Um, it's a big group today um, because we're kicking off the Critical Making Mentoring Program. And uh, I'm super excited for that to happen. Um, it's a long way um, for uh, us in the organizing team and also in the participants um, to join today and um, in the call today and in the um, stream in the event, you will see um, what critical making is and what um, who we are and who um, the participants of the mentoring are. And most importantly, in the end, uh, or in the the prime time of the event, Sachi Noi will um, speak about make things that make sense uh, with uh, most examples from his work in Salvage Garden Makerspace uh, and his prior work also in Engineering Good and generally in his uh, coffee geekiness. Uh, I think it will be an entertaining uh, presentation. <laughs> So I will like to share my screen so I can um, guide you through um, our um, our topics for today. Making a show. There it is. You now should see my screen. And I can't see so many of you anymore. This is unfortunate but we will make this work. So I'm saying welcome, and I want to introduce uh, some of the participants in the call to you um, today so that we're all on the same page of um, who is uh, doing the project. And um, first of all, um, uh, that is um, the partners in the program of Critical Making, which is an EU-funded uh, project to research um, maker communities. And it's brought by a Center for Social Innovation in Austria, by the Technical University in Berlin, uh, which is in Germany, uh, the VTT um, from Finland, Wikifactory, a 
global platform, but based in Spain, and Global Innovation Gathering, uh, also a global network uh, registered in Germany, and most importantly, um, all you great uh, co-researchers who are part of the program. Um, so next you see um, the Global Innovation Gathering, and I would like to uh, have one of the founders, one of the um, ex uh, supervisory board members and also participant and uh, teacher in uh, critical making uh, to take a tiny um, word about um, Global Innovation Gathering, Georgia Nicolau. Hello, everybody. Good morning. I mean, at least it's morning to me. Um, I'm speaking from Brazil. I'm really happy to be here and see you all. Um, so, um, and also really happy to introduce Gig, which is a great part of my life for the last uh, nine years or 10, I don't know. Um, um, so Gig um, is a community uh, uh, of uh, hubs and creative people that are making things that make sense. We like to say that we are what we create together. We have now reached, I think, um, around uh, 46 countries. So we are, we are uh, in all continents. Uh, we are more than 140 associates by now. Uh, and we, before pan the pandemic, we used to meet at least once a year. Uh, but also there's like smaller gatherings uh, in the continents and um, cooperating so there's a lot of projects that we cooperate with each other uh, within the hubs and and the organizations that are part of and people but also uh projects that we are part of uh, for some years now we have been also an ngo and that's why we also are part of other corporations uh, and develop projects such as critical making this one but also make um which is uh, a project that uh, with African and European maker spaces. Also, we have the Lab Mobile, which is uh, an itinerant space for learning and hacking, and, and the Coact project. Uh, so, yeah, uh, welcome to Gig2 and happy to be here. Sandra, over to you. Thank you so much, Georgia. That was wonderful. Um, and I stopped the slides so people can better see each other for a minute, because um, I think that's always also nice when you speak. Um, and I will share again. And uh, while I'm doing this, I will ask uh, Christina to uh, introduce Vicky Factory, which is uh, the second partner who's bringing the critical making mentoring um, to uh, you all. Well, it's such a pleasure to be here. Thanks, Sandra. So Wikifactory is a platform and an ecosystem for designers and engineers and now also manufacturers worldwide that together can come to host their product development, their projects online and be able to work together as a team and now also be able to get their parts made with uh, our global network of manufacturers. Our vision is for a more distributed design and production vision for our sector so that anyone can share, iterate, prototype and manufacture their hardware and physical products fully online to bring greater accessibility to what we may hear as industry 4.0 for the bigger companies, but how can we bring greater access to the tools of design and production so that makers everywhere can be able to produce locally uh, in an ideal uh, and ideally even more um, uh, circularly or even uh, from a regenerative point of view. And we've built a global community uh, using our platform of over 140,000 designers and engineers around the world. Um, and they're developing over 9,000 projects from like a broad range of, uh, let's say problem spaces, whether in agriculture, biotech, um, electric vehicles, through to even smart furniture. Um, and really, we hope to reshape the global supply chain and ensure that anyone anywhere can virtually make anything online uh, and work together as a global team for local impact. So it's really wonderful to be here. I've been taking a look at some of the, of the moves so far and it's really inspiring. And I hope that our platform can be of 
of service and of utility to all of you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Christina. And if anybody didn't try out Wikifactory yet, uh, I think today is the day. <laughs> um, I hope my screen sharing now works. Um, and let's see. Maybe somebody can give me feedback. Uh, we can. OK, cool. Yes, it's OK. Good, thank you. Uh, wonderful. So what is critical making? Um, our objective is to <clears throat> study the innovation processes that happen in maker movements. So you see we are part of maker Sandra? movements. Yes. I, uh, we see your desktop, but not the presentation. Oh, that's interesting. Then I will try again. Uh, I use Linux. Sometimes uh, Linux has some issues with Zoom. Um, next time we maybe <laughs> use something different. Let's see. But it's just the service we um, need to use to make everybody um, yeah, join also from lower bandwidth. And let's see. Does it work now? Nope. Still your desktop. Mm. So it worked earlier, I heard. Ah, that's always uh... so let's say say yes, please. Yes. Not in slide mode yet, but not in yeah, presentation will... mode, but it's fine. I hope that's uh, the trick. So now it would be in slide mode, right? Yes, yes. Oh, thank you so much. And that's the first session must always have something. And I think that was now the thing and everything else will run super smoothly. <laughs> Ah, so what is critical making? Um, I'm super happy that also Barbara Kieslinger is here from uh, Center for Social Innovation in Austria because she's coordinating the project. Um, and um, that's um, a really uh, useful um, function. And um, yeah, we, we thought that uh, I should introduce anyway, um, but uh, I think next time we will have uh, more interaction on this. Um, so critical making is to study innovation processes and maker movements with regards to um, aspects of responsible research and innovation. So these are um, European uh, Union supported um, research uh, ethics um, that uh, we uh, want to pursue and want to um, move forward forward uh, with our research. And we are looking into it, especially in relation to gender, openness, and also in the recruitment of young people in the maker spaces, so in educational uh, settings mostly. How can teachers um, teach about making, for example? So as <clears throat> I think most of you, but maybe not everyone uh, in the world knows, uh, maker communities offer very amazing and new opportunities for anyone to contribute to open source innovation. That means um, that if you have access um, to a fab lab and to the internet or to a makerspace um, and to people with um, the knowledge how to create something, um, you can gain this knowledge and you can create uh, any of your ideas um, that you have and you can share it back um, with the world and other people can build upon your ideas and uh, this is just uh, so beautiful. Um, in our project, um, as I said, we are looking in three of these dimensions and we have uh, defined three case actions uh, for that. And the first one is about uh, gender specific measures. So we cr help um, participants to create workshops um, and we're super happy um, in this kind of um, uh, setting to have um, for example, an initiative to empower local brewers um, in um, Boa Lab and also in uh, the Go Girls ICT in, um, to um, empower them with um, yeah, brewing of uh, hand sanitizers, for example. 
And um, then in the next case action, I'm very making this super short um, because of uh, our other topics um, that we still want to discuss. Um, so um, the second topic is youth uh, encounters. Uh, here you see um, how we're creating um, flashlights um, during a conference as a prototype for uh, teaching kids and uh, caregivers and uh, teachers about critical making. And we're also meeting um, other makers and uh, makerspace organizers um, to um, yeah, get input for a critical making manifesto and also discuss the roles of educators um, in this setting and to find out what kind of guidelines, um, what kind of uh, support they would need. And uh, the last one, the openness um, case action uh, is the one uh, this um, critical making mentoring is part of. Um, and there we, for example, uh, take the sustainable making principles that Global Innovation Gathering created in 2019 at a co-create. I try to enhance this uh, with more, um, yeah, with more um, research around it, getting feedback from uh, makers, uh, from uh, users of such a tool, and uh, use it also for the mentoring program. It's just one example of uh, things happening in this program. Um, and so I want to dive into the mentoring itself uh, a little bit further. So our mission in this mentoring is uh, to help uh, people advance the production um, more in an open um, direction and in a more critical and sustainable area. So we're inviting uh, makers, innovators globally, and we're super happy to have found so many um, who want to join the program uh, towards uh, and uh, shape their own projects, but also shape uh, the making for a more sustainable future. Um, there are three different areas in which um, we're working here. It's uh, open science hardware, which is a very big movement, of course, um, then social innovation, and also uh, a focus on environmental sustainability. And I think uh, something that rang a bell with many of um, the participants was the focus on the SDGs, um, because that's something um, that uh, is really helping everybody to yeah, look into how their projects actually contribute um, to um, a more sustainable future. Um, so what we're doing in the mentoring is that we had an entry interview for everybody um, where we explored how our uh, people um, thinking and acting um, until now. Um, then we have um, five workshops and lectures and uh, tasks and check-ins uh, in the coming few months. So this is the first one of um, the video lectures. Uh, we're preparing special workshops, for example, surrounding the SDGs. So stay tuned for that uh, because we um, get a lot of um, requests also for what to include in the mentoring that uh, we find super useful. Um, at the end, um, there will be a demo week um, and also uh, exit interviews to gather data for the research side of things. Uh, so this one is the first one about making things that make sense. And here for us, it's all about creating products and solutions that really solve uh, or contribute to solving uh, fundamental um, real world problems. And one addition we want to make to that is that it also should be fun in some ways, uh, because making should be fun and uh, solving real world problems uh, should be fun. And we're extremely excited to have Saad Chinoy uh, with us uh, today, who will speak about um, this and all this work. Um, and he's uh, already here, so that's exciting. Um, then we have um, Emilio Vélez uh, speaking in the next workshop next month uh, from the Apropedia Foundation, and he's uh, sharing how to make, um, uh, sharing how you are making. So um, have guidelines, have frameworks, have documentation um, support for everybody um, so that 
people can really um, publish what they are making in their projects. And uh, as it's important to um, do this in the beginning, um, because uh, yeah, you will need to photograph uh, what you're making in the first uh, week uh, as much as what you're making in the last week to have everybody um, yeah, see the process. Then uh, next up, we have uh, Ravind Panch from Dream Space Academy in Sri Lanka, and he will uh, speak about uh, including ecosystem services. So we see um, that there is a lot of uh, environmental, environmental damage uh, also in making cultures and making communities um, of just uh, creating uh, things that are already there. Um, not valuing natural resources and we want to uh, contribute to a better version of making um, through uh, all the knowledge we're sharing uh, in these workshops and in these teachings. Um, so this is part of that. Then um, I'm extremely happy uh, Georgia Nicolau will uh, share about integrating local knowledge. You just saw Georgia as one of the co-founders also of the Global Innovation Gathering, but she's also co-founder um, of the Instituto Procomun in Brazil. And there are uh, like local practices, um, co-design, all these measures to integrate uh, communities in the work you're doing uh, at the core of um, what they're doing. And that's uh, so inspiring. Uh, and last but not least, uh, we have Baha Kumar, um, who is one of the founders of the Impact Hub in Kathmandu and the CEO there. And she will speak about building for continuity. So. Um, in her work, uh, she, yeah, mentored and teached uh, so many, um, yeah, small and evolving uh, startups and companies and people to create uh, really a long lasting future um, for their project. And this not only means self sufficiency in terms of financial, um, financial uh, aims, but also integrate um, like capacity, have a team, have a community. So that's uh, also um, super important and will be uh, our last uh, scheduled teaching. And um, what I want to really focus on uh, today is uh, who are the participants, uh, because um, that's so um, interesting. And we asked everybody, um, because we can't just share um, the um, the infos uh, the participants uh, send us as applications to join the program. Uh, so we asked everybody to share a story on uh, Wikifactory in our community um, to uh, teach everyone else um, a little bit about the story um, they are uh, bringing to the mentoring. And so I want to start with Matthew, Matthew Lubari. Um, he will uh, create or he will um, work on an uh, extension cable um, made out of wood and not out of plastic, uh, which is really to also inspire um, his uh, community to uh, yeah, value the power of um, open hardware and of uh, openness and do it yourself. Then um, I'm also happy um, that Xixi is uh, part of the, um, of the mentoring. So she, she is um, a project to allow people um, to, uh, yeah, urinate in the street, or oh, not in the streets, but uh, in a very, um, yeah, unsafe settings uh, where there's no private bathrooms, um, especially for women and other people um, without a penis. Um, so that's quite, um, important um, to have safe, safe environment um, to be able to relieve yourself. And then we have uh, Hussam. Um, he um, aims to uh, create a, um, a farm uh, house. Um, so uh, that uh, in this indoor farm, um, strawberries or maybe also other. Um, I produce uh, can be created. Um, and Dawa is uh, creating a solar mobile phone charger. And uh, that's especially because um, there is uh, not uh, sufficient energy, like uh, not sufficient um, electricity where uh, she's living in the Rhino Camp uh, refugee settlement in Uganda. And with these um, 
yeah, affordable uh, mobile phone chargers that people can really create in the camp themselves. Um, uh, she will uh, support her community um, to, yeah, power their phones, which is uh, critical infrastructure, of course. Then I'm happy that Juliana Rabello is also part of the program. Uh, she's creating educational games out of wood um, in Brazil in the Casa Criatura Makerspace. And uh, they are so uh, cute. I already had one in my hand. Um, and we're very excited. She's part of the program, a very like specialist designer. Um, so very looking forward to work with you. Um, then I'm happy that Sarah Burton is also part of the um, program. She is a maker, artist, um, and she's working on a game to um, teach English as a second language, but also to um, teach about the SDGs, to teach about uh, sustainability um, in uh, the world for those who are doing the role playing game. Um, then we have uh, Elia, who is uh, working on the digital wireless stethoscope. He's part of the Memboa Lab team, uh, and they're mostly working on uh, medical devices uh, in the team to prototype them and to share them as open source hardware, which is amazing. Then, uh, and I'm sorry, I don't see my notes, that's why. <laughs> It's a bit confusing sometimes. Uh, we have Wafa. He's uh, creating the um, a DIY uh, audio device, and um, that's also super interesting to see. Um, he's already having um, some first documentation um, on the Wiki Factory page, so you can uh, share uh, see even more about um, his project. Uh, then we have Helena, who is also in the call at the moment, uh, I saw, and she is working on um, yeah, support for um, pregnancy, so also a healthcare project, um, and I'm very uh, looking forward to see how this evolves. Um, and the other um, healthcare for maternity and for um, pregnancy uh, project is coming from Alex. Uh, and I'm very happy we have a few projects uh, in here that can uh, benefit also from um, interaction on the very topic level. And welcome, Alex. And then we have uh, Christina um, from uh, Kenya. She's part of the IOME um, Innovation Hub. And she found um, that there is a lack of um, uh, drinking water filters. Um, so she's working on a filter for drinking water, and uh, that will be certainly very useful for many of us. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, with that, um, I'm over uh, with my part of the presentation, and I'm happy I didn't take too much time in comparison to what I wanted to take. So that's great. So if you want to stay updated with the project, um, it would be great um, if you follow Critical Making on Twitter. Um, if you're not on Twitter, of course, um, you could, for example, sign up for the Global Innovation Gathering newsletter. We also um, send specific uh, info to everyone who signs up for the events. Um, so we have you in a specific critical making list. Uh, that would be amazing um, to have you there so we can keep you updated about the future um, workshops, about the future uh, lectures, and uh, that you don't miss uh, any of them. And with this, I'm stopping to share my screen because